uh, the freshmen just continue to to shine. And uh, Kenny was asked about the freshmen and how many are going to get a chance to play specifically on the defensive side of the ball. But I think that he was just answering in general. So we'll hear what Kenny had to say about the freshmen. I feel actually really good about it. I actually talked to the staff about it the other day and talked about it's a definition of you better watch senior film, right? When you come in late, you're behind on everybody. So your entire goal is to not sign the highly rated kids. Your entire goal is to out evaluate people, right? So I think when you watch senior tape in that situation, you really challenge yourself to be a good evaluators. And I think, uh, I think we evaluated some really good players. I mean, on the defensive side of the ball in particular, I think, uh, I think we get, we found some really good DBs uh, in the bunch. Yeah, yeah. And, and and he also said he probably expects, a, you know, a good amount to to get some real playing time. I think the number was three to eight. Uh, he might say that in the next clip, but I can't remember. But yeah, I think that was the number he said. Keith, so. JoJo, I'm sure we're gonna see CJ at some point this season if Montana Warren works his way back. Like there are it it, it is a little bit surprising because I think you Maybe. see yeah the the. The difference between these staffs, right, specifically when it came to Herm's staff and that roster versus the staff you have now, is A, the difference in recruiting from the last year of Herm to the first year of Kenny, but also the number of freshmen that you see competing constantly mm -hmm. in practice. Like, I don't want to say that Herm didn't give his players a chance to compete, at least on a younger level. Yeah. That's not necessarily the case, but the reps that you see some of these guys taking consistently yeah. in seven on sevens in teams. It makes a guy like Keith Abney to where the point now where we're yeah. seven days from kickoff and you're going to see Keith Abney play. Yeah. Keith was, was, was practicing with the second unit in seven on sevens. Like he's going to get a lot of time. Yeah. And, and you know, the, the, the older guys recognize that the seniors, the leaders of this team recognize that JC and I were talking, we were talking about the O'Malley fights, of course, because obviously <laughs> JC being a big UFC guy, but JC and I were talking about the O'Malley fight and, and Keith comes over and they're, they're talking, and he's like, it's like, you know what, Keith, when I was a freshman, I was a normal kid. I was like, you know, I was going to do whatever, going to hang out, whatever. You're a superstar already, Keith. You're a superstar. What, what does it feel? Was it? And, you know, that, that, that's kind of the ongoing joking. joke yeah. with this this team. Like, oh, you're too famous. Yeah. You're so famous. But, like, like JC recognizes, like, I, I wasn't even this good when I was a freshman. Exactly. So it's 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 exciting for this defense um, well, to have guys like that they're they are deep in the secondary man and part of that too right is like you see what a guy again specifically looking at a guy like jordan clark who is what he is now one of the best defensive backs on the team one of the best defensive players on the team right didn't get a lot of run early on in his career at asu so imagine what he could have been if he would have gotten mm -hmm. a few more game reps from time to time and now you look at a guy like keith abney who is running with the twos on defense in his freshman season like imagine what he's going to be next year the year after he's going to be your row torrents your ed woods your jordan clark but better because of the fact that he's had so much more game experience leading up to that 